Items on your grocery list may be a challenge these days as many stores across the nation have shelves that are virtually empty. Well, if you've been inside your local grocery store recently yeah. for grocery shopping, you've probably noticed there are many more empty shelves and a shortage of some items. Anyone who's gone grocery shopping in the U.S. in recent days has likely encountered long lines and empty shelves. With the election just around the corner, now is the time to take action. We've seen it before, right after elections, Grocery store shelves can empty out fast as people rush to stock up. It's not hard to imagine walking into your favorite store and finding basic necessities gone and realizing your pantry at home is nearly bare. This kind of situation can quickly become stressful, especially if supply chains are disrupted or demand spikes. Stock up on these 12 grocery products that are already in extremely high demand. Number 1. White rice. White rice is about to become one of the most sought-after grocery items this October. And to be honest, it's not so hard to see the reason for that. Not only is rice a staple in most households worldwide, thereby pulling a lot of weight on its demand, but global supply chains have also been under immense strain. Reports from various sources like the Economic Times stated that India, the world's largest rice exporter, recently restricted shipments of non-basmati white rice to control domestic prices. That move alone triggered a ripple effect, pushing up rice prices globally by 15% in just a few months. That is, of course, before the restriction was called off. There's also been predictions of major shortfalls in the production of rice at the global level since last year, and we're seeing a lot of that in play today. This strained supply of rice may have been as a result of the ongoing war in Ukraine, as well as weather woes in rice-producing economies like China and Pakistan. It's safe to say that in times of uncertainty, people turn to versatile, long-lasting foods, and white rice checks out both boxes. It can last up to 30 years if stored correctly, making it a no-brainer for anyone looking to build a robust food reserve. With the potential for shortages and price spikes looming, grabbing those extra bags now could save you from all the hassle when shelves start looking bare. Don't wait until it's too late. Start stocking up before demands send prices skyrocketing. Next up, there's fresh fruit. While these might seem abundant now, come October, certain varieties could become almost impossible to find or unbelievably expensive. Fresh fruit? are the perfect raw materials for many forms of processing. Whether dried, dehydrated, frozen, canned, or juiced, and as natural products often grown in regions where the weather is quite erratic, harvests can vary dramatically and in an unpredictable manner, impacting on the prices of finished products. Take, for example, the U.S. apple harvest, which happens to be facing a major squeeze due to frigid temperatures and frost in key growing regions like Washington State. At the same time, import costs for other tropical fruits like bananas and mangoes are climbing steadily due to fuel prices and international logistics challenges. To top it off, the scarce availability of workers for the harvesting process has also, quite unavoidably, led to lower fruit yields overall. Now, canned and dried fruits are excellent alternatives, but if you're a fresh produce lover, you may be paying a premium just to get your hands on your favorites, making these fruits go from being a healthy choice to a rare treat. It would be a good idea to keep an eye out now for them while they're still affordable, because waiting could cost you double for a simple snack. The only product we'll ever promote on our channel is a book by Claude Davis, a veteran prepper, about 126 superfoods and preservation methods from crisis times like the Great Depression and wartime that are impossible to find elsewhere. We decided to promote his book because we are the last generation able to share these techniques and superfoods to our children or grandchildren. It would be a shame to see this information about highly nutritious foods and preservation methods to survive crises disappear. You can check it out in the description of this video down below. Another grocery product about to see their moment in the spotlight this October are dehydrated veggies. 
when fresh produce becomes pricey or difficult to source, these lightweight, nutrient-dense options offer a long shelf life and easy storage. While fresh vegetables start to spoil in days, dehydrated veggies can last anywhere from 5 to 10 years if kept in proper conditions. And the best part is, they retain most of their vitamins and minerals, which makes them just as healthy as fresh options, minus the worry of spoilage. That is, with droughts affecting major agricultural hubs in California and unpredictable weather in Europe threatening key crops, the prices for fresh veggies are already climbing, showing no signs of slowing down. The United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, have reported that the prices for fresh vegetables are predicted to increase by 0.6%, with a prediction interval of 0.8 to 2.1%. They've also noted that from mid-2023, vegetable prices had risen by over 8% in the last year. Dehydrated vegetables are not just a backup plan for preppers alone. They're about to be everyone's go-to for keeping a healthy stock of greens without the spoilage risk. So stock up now, because your trusty greens may become a luxury in the months to come. Then there's also pasta one of those comfort foods that has never really gone out of style or out of our pantries either. We can all testify to its versatility in helping us create a variety of tasty meals using minimal ingredients to stretch out supplies further. Get ready, folks, because this October, your favorite stir-fry staple is about to become even more valuable. Popularly known as the world's top pasta producer, Italy has been grappling with wheat shortages due to extreme heat waves and droughts that have hit Europe hard. According to the European Commission's agricultural reports, wheat production had dropped by over 10% in 2023, causing pasta prices to rise since then across major supply chains. Now, the great thing about never running out of pasta is its long shelf life, because when sealed properly, it could last for up to two years making it a must-have in your pantry when bracing for the impact of price hikes or supply shortages. Whether it's spaghetti or macaroni, pasta's about to be worth its weight in gold, so don't wait around expecting pasta prices to suddenly drop. Truth is, they might jump even higher. So hit your local grocery stores now and secure one of the most reliable comfort food staples for your meals ahead. This next item is one I bet you didn't see coming. Frozen pizza. Yep, that's right. I know this may seem like a convenient weeknight dinner, but come October, it could become one of those luxury items that fly off the shelves fast. The consumption of frozen pizzas in the United States has exhibited a steady trend from 2014 to 2024, and with the rising cost of ingredients like wheat, cheese, and tomatoes, the price of frozen pizza is expected to climb even further. In fact, according to the USDA, dairy prices have already seen a 12% increase in 2023, and tomato crops have suffered due to droughts in major producing areas like California. But it's not just about price. There's also the possibility of limited supply. Freezing technology has advanced to preserve pizzas for long periods, making them a popular choice for busy households. But with disruptions in the supply chain, and unpredictable food costs, stocking up on frozen pizza now could save you from paying a premium later. When stored correctly, frozen pizza can last for months, making it an excellent option for keeping in your freezer for those nights when you need something quick and delicious. So, don't forget to grab a few extra boxes of your favorite brands on your next grocery store trip. You'll thank yourself when they're hard to come by. Sardines may not be on everyone's shopping list, but watch out, because they're about to become one of the most valuable canned goods this October. Sardines are popular and reliable sources of protein, omega-3s, and essential nutrients. When canned and stored properly, sardines have an incredibly long shelf life, often lasting up to five years when canned properly. However, sardine production has been facing increasing pressure recently due to overfishing and environmental concerns. 
According to a 2023 report by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, fish stocks in several regions, including the Mediterranean, are being harvested at unsustainable rates, giving rise to tighter supplies and higher prices in the near future. And let's face it, that's pretty much where we are right now. As if that's not enough, disruptions in the supply chain and increasingly high fuel costs are driving up the price of canned fish. There probably was a time when sardines were regarded as a budget-friendly source of protein, but soon enough, it's going to become a more expensive option. So, if you're a fan of canned fish, especially sardines, well, now's the time to stock up on them before their value spikes. Number seven on our list today would be canned meat. It's easy to walk right past it at the grocery store, assuming it's always going to be there whenever we come back for it, but soon you might have to do a bit of searching before you can have it in your pantry. Usually, canned meats like chicken or beef appear on the shopping list of a lot of preppers, mostly because of their long shelf life, which makes them perfect for stockpiling. Now, here's the downside of the issue. Meat production has been hit real hard recently. The FAO meat price index for September revealed a 4.8% increase in value, higher than its value a year ago. The rise in the index was driven by higher poultry meat prices. And in addition to that, major meat-producing countries like the U.S. and Brazil are facing significant challenges, including higher energy costs and environmental regulations. This combination of factors means that canned meats might not only become more expensive, but also harder to find. So if you've been ignoring these protein powerhouses on your shopping trips, now's the time to give it a little bit more attention before it becomes a rare commodity. Next up is flour, the backbone of countless recipes, from bread and cakes to pancakes and sauces. Flour has a relatively long shelf life, too, if stored properly in a cool, dry place, but you can also extend that by freezing it. We're not about to go into all of that now, though. The question is, why is flour on this list? Well, just like we mentioned earlier, global wheat supply is facing significant pressure from droughts and extreme weather, particularly in key producing countries like the U.S., Canada, and Ukraine. According to the International Grains Council, Wheat production dropped by 3% in 2023, and this shortage is expected to push flour prices even higher. In fact, in just the first half of the year, the cost of wheat-based products like flour saw nearly a 9% jump. With shortages like this looming on the horizon, prices are bound to be on the rise. If you're someone who loves to bake or cook from scratch, and you're very likely to be doing a lot of that real soon, Secure some extra bags. You'll be glad you did when things get crazy. There's a lot of things that could go wrong when you run out of fresh eggs and can't afford to restock on them immediately like you used to. They might be one of the most common grocery items, but they're on track to become a hot commodity this October. The egg industry has been hit hard in recent years due to various factors, including the avian flu outbreaks, which you've probably heard of. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the avian flu epidemic has driven up the price of eggs by over 50% in the last year alone, making them significantly more expensive in many regions. Suppliers have struggled to keep up due to the constant demand, causing intermittent shortages. Eggs sure are great protein sources, but they could become even harder to find as we count down to the end of the month. Whether you need them for baking, cooking, or just breakfast, now's the time to stock up before prices rise even higher. Cooking oil might not be the first thing you think of when it comes to stockpiling groceries, but it's about to become one of the most precious items this October. What's more, cooking oil has a relatively long shelf life, up to two years if stored properly. Global supplies of vegetable oils are shrinking constantly due to a combination of climate issues and geopolitical tensions. Between the pandemic-driven issues and the war in Ukraine, a domino effect has been kick-started in the food industry globally. And this item hasn't gone untouched. 
According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, EFAO, global cooking oil prices jumped by 24% between late 2023 and mid-2024. Owing to its long shelf life and many uses in the kitchen, there's no going back on the demand for cooking oil. And as demand continues to grow and supply shrinks, cooking oil could become one of those grocery items that are harder to come by and much more expensive. Speaking of sweet treats, have you ever imagined chocolate being so costly? It literally begins to feel like it's a luxury item. The global chocolate industry is under pressure due to a range of factors, including rising cocoa prices and supply chain disruptions. West Africa, which produces around 70% of the world's cocoa, has been facing environmental challenges, including deforestation and irregular rainfall, which has affected crop yields. According to a report from Reuters, cocoa prices rose by over 15% between the end of 2023 and mid-2024, and that increase is now trickling down to consumers in the form of higher prices for chocolate products. Add to that the rising costs of dairy and sugar, and it's clear why chocolate is becoming more expensive to produce. Whether it's incorporated into your morning beverage, chocolate bars, or used for baking, it might be wise to stock up now before prices climb even higher. In a few months, chocolate could become a pricey indulgence rather than the usual affordable treat you're used to. Lastly, for our coffee lovers out there, this might be a hard pill to swallow. Coffee prices have been on a steady climb due to climate change and poor harvests in some of the world's largest coffee-producing regions. Top coffee exporters, Brazil and Vietnam, have faced extreme weather conditions which have led to lower yields. The combined effects of Brazil's drought and Vietnam's typhoon have triggered a sharp increase in global coffee prices. The International Coffee Organization, ICO, reported that prices surged by nearly 20% in the third quarter of 2024, reaching their highest levels in almost a decade. These numbers aren't coming down anytime soon, folks. So whether you prefer ground coffee or whole beans, securing an extra stash now could save you from spending a small fortune on your caffeine fix in the months to come. Now, if you're about to stash this info away like you never even heard it, well, think again, because while you're stalling for time, someone somewhere is completing their shopping list and making the necessary preparations so they can hit those shelves before it's too late. Economic instability and food supply chain disruptions are no joke, and these are all factors that follow the aftermath of elections. So start now to fill up your pantries while you still can, because when shortages hit, it wouldn't just be about having enough to eat. And guess what? You'd also be saving more than a few extra cash. So make those smart moves now, and you'll have yourself to thank when the real rush begins.